Hello everyone, welcome back to X Machines channel. In the land of fashion, Italia, there are designers who are inspired to create products, with a look that encompasses the full desire to enhance the aesthetics and character, of the cars on which they will be installed. They are designing alloy wheel. Right now we are in GMP Group, a company specializing in the design and mass production, of high-quality aluminium components for the automotive industry on an international level, with a special focus and experience in the field of light alloy wheels. Here, X Machines will take you to discover the manufacturing process of alloy wheel. The alloy wheel manufacturing process begins with high-grade aluminum, an alloy containing 97% aluminum. These high-grade aluminum ingots will be put into an oven heated to 750 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, they will liquefy, the time from start to liquefaction is about 25 minutes. After adding chemical additives during the firing process, aluminum is ready for casting the wheel. The casting machine is designed to fill the mold from the bottom, by pressurized injection injecting upward through the bottom rather than pouring downward into. This method reduces the risk of air bubbles causing casting defects. The aluminum takes about 7 to 10 minutes to solidify, then the mold automatically opens releasing the newly cast wheel. During this stage you can see excess aluminum edges, which is one of the characteristics of the cast product. The worker controlling the robotic arm take it out, and submerge it in lukewarm water for a few minutes, this cools it down enough to be handled. The first of many tests, the wheels are x-rayed to ensure they are free of voids and cracks not visible to the naked eye, that can lead to potential quality issues at this stage. The wheel doesn't come out of the mold in perfect condition. The edges are rough due to some excess metal that has to be trimmed off. So they mount the wheel on CNC machines, this is a precision machine controlled by a computer system. These machines will machine and remove almost absolute precision aluminum excess than required. Once the wheels have been checked for quality, they are then put through the process of tilt milling. Employees use a tilt mill tool that removes metal, by rotating a multi-tooth cutter that is fed into the moving workpiece. The spindle can be fed up and down with a quill feed lever on the head. The shape now finalized it's time to test the wheel to make sure it's airtight, while pumping air into the wheel. They submerge it in water should any air bubbles appear, it would mean there's a pinhole in the metal or some shrinkage, in which case the wheel would fail. Inspection no air bubbles the wheel proceeds to the automated painting line. The wheels that have qualified in the previous step will be transferred to the paint shop for painting. 
first a base coat then a coat of color, which can be anything from classic silver or black to a flashier shade, then a clear coat to protect the paint and prevent corrosion. No machine might replace the human eye in capturing the beauty of perfection. For this reason the experts take care of the fresh painted wheels. Supported by advanced optical instruments, they control GMP alloy rims one by one through a long supply chain. Finally, with care, they put the wheels inside their box, ready to travel on roads all over the world. Next is the production process of the truck steel wheels. The manufacturing process of the truck steel wheels is divided into two steps, the production of the wheel disc and the wheel rim. The input material for the production of wheel discs is steel plate. Steel plate will go through processing steps including cutting, bending, punching, drilling and grinding as well as testing to produce wheel discs. A coiler machine is an essential machine that is used before the rim welding. It provides the forms for coiled hoops from flat rim bands. After the feeding, deburring, stamping and auto coiling, the rim band will become a coiled hoop. It is necessary to use the flattening machine to flatten the joint of the coiled rim bands that are over 4 mm thick before proceeding to the flash butt welding process. The welding slag will be produced on both the inside and outside surface of the weld joint after the welding process. A special machine unit comprised of the trimmer, planisher and end cutting machine can be used to remove the slag and make the surface of the weld joint flat and smooth. After the weld joint processing, cooling, and re-rounding processes, a horizontal flaring machine will be used to flare two edges of the rim to make the following roll forming processes easier.
The roll forming machine is used for the symmetrical or asymmetrical roll forming of wheel rims. Inspection steps are taken to ensure that defective rims are removed. The valve hole punching is done after profiling, and is an important step in steel wheel rim manufacturing. With a corresponding mold, it can punch the right valve hole on the effective part of the rim. The valve hole punching press is used for the flat pressing and hole punching on tubeless wheel rims. A steel wheel is made of the wheel rim and the wheel disc. The wheel rim and tire form an airtight unit for bearing the vehicle's weight and transmitting power. The wheel disc is connected to a hub, and transmits the power from the engine. Usually, the wheel rim and disc of trucks are connected by welding. The wheel is then transferred to painting, final inspection and packaging. 